welcome to the channel so in this video we're going to turn our python script that we have wrote in our last video as a intro dot python into a into a python script tool that ca can be run from our arcgis pro so now we're going to open our python command prompt go to the search section and enter as python command prompt so once you do that uh, click this option called python command prompt so now this is our uh, Python command command prompt. So we're gonna type as an uh, idle and click enter. So now you can able to show uh, I have typed as an idle and now click enter. So once you did that, a new window has been popped up saying our Python 3.7.10 shell window. So now uh, we're gonna open our previous line of uh, code that is intro.python. So for that, we're gonna click this option called file and click this option called open so once you did that make sure that you navigate to your save location and click this option on scripts and click uh, select this uh, intro python idle and once you did that click this option open so now our previous uh, line of code this is we have used this line of code in our previous video as uh, intro python idle so basically we're gonna use a py via what is a python script tool is uh, the python script tool will present us uh, a tool dialog that uh, we can use to browse uh, to either a feature a feature class or a shape file and uh, report the number of polygon contained in the the data set we have used it so now let us uh, we can continue editing our intro python idle so uh, if you don't have the codes that look like this uh, intro python ideal this code of line of codes you can use this line of codes for this particular video or we can refer to our previous video we have used this particular line of code to perform to calculate the number of polygons so now uh, in this moment uh, that is at the moment i have our fc variable that is uh, linked to one particular shape file there is our uh, countries boundary that is admin countries boundary shape file so now i'm going to comment it out so we're going to comment out uh, that line of code using a hash character. So we're going to intro, introduce a hash character to comment out our uh, this particular line of code. So once you have uh, introduced your hash character and uh, I will also comment out the two lines of code to that we use to create a file geo database and perform a select because this particular this tool is uh, the sole purpose to count the number of features in uh, any feature class or shape file that we uh, choose so now we're going to comment out this particular line of code so i have selected this so once you selected it go to this, uh, this option called format and that we're going to click this option called comment out region so once you have uh, commented out we're going to type this line of code so now go to this uh, so we're going to enter a line of code below fc so now uh, let me enter fc equals to so I have typed as fc equals to arc python dot get parameter as text zero so uh, this script is now designed to run as a python script tool which uh, gets one parameter numbered zero so within the geoprocessing framework of uh, arcgis uh, pro so now let us try to run the script uh, from here now let us run this code go to this option called run and click this option called run module and uh, it need to be saved click ok so once you did that so now it gives us an error called uh, 00735 input row values required and now this error is uh, coming from our get count uh, tool that is uh, this particular line of codes which uh, we can see it as the start of the trace back so which tells us the line uh, 9 of the script so here so i have performed as a save in the process of uh, trying to run this tool just now and uh, if you don't try to run it so then uh, you need to uh, bring the intro.py to uh, to the front and save file uh, save to save it so i got an error because of placing a get parameter as a text uh, in the script 
and only half the configures the Python. Only half it configures the our Python uh, script too. So now I will start our ArcGIS Pro with the intro project to finish the configuring this uh, Python script tool. So now we are in ArcGIS Pro. So uh, let me open this file called introduction to Python window in ArcGIS Pro. So we have done it in our previous video. So click this. So once you open this, uh, open this, we're going to go to the catalog pan. So this is the catalog pan. So it is available uh, in our view section and click this option called catalog pan. So once you did that, a window will pop up called catalog. And now navigate to our uh, this particular folder called toolboxes and click this down arrow. So once you've done that, so click this option called uh, and right click on this introduction to Python windows in ArcGIS Pro. Right click and uh, click this option called new. In that we're going to select this particular option called script. That is we're going to create a new script. So now uh, I will give my uh, script all a name to uh, counter features with uh, so now let us add a name to this uh, new script. So we're going to give a name uh, called count features. So basically we're going to perform an operation to count the number of features so with that we're going to give a, a name as a count feature without any space in between the count and the feature so now i have entered our name as count features and uh, once you did that go to the label section enter as count feature but a space between the count and the feature we're going to enter here so once you are uh, given a name for our label uh, as a count features so make sure that next we're going to move on to our script file so we're going to navigate to our uh, we're going to uh, browse uh, to my script folder and choose uh, the intro.py. We have done it in our previous video. So now we're going to navigate that. So click this option. So now uh, let me select my intro Python idle. And once you did that, click OK. And now go to the uh, this parameters uh, section. So once you are in our parameter section, uh, for the first parameter, which is number zero, I will input the feature class as its uh, label here. So now I'm going to enter as an input feature class. So once you've entered as a input feature classes, and now click enter. And now uh, that fills uh, in the name section. It fills using the same three words that is input feature class uh, with the uh, underscores between them. So next in the data type section, we're going to select our data type and we're going to select the data type as a feature class. So click this option to change the data type and uh, click this down arrow button and select as a feature class. Now let me select a feature class. So this is a feature class data type. We're going to select this and now click OK and uh, click uh, ok again to finish the configuring this tool so we're gonna click this ok so now we can able to visualize here in the intro to introduction to python windows in our gis below that we have our uh, com features so now uh, i can now double click on the com features tool that uh, we have configured uh, in order to open it so now to open this tool we have to double click So you can open it either by double click or just uh, by right click and click this option called open. So this is our count feature tool. So once you did that, we're going to input our feature class. So I'm going to browse to our, uh, so now we're going to browse to our uh, introduction to Python windows and RGIS pro folder. And uh, we're going to choose uh, that as our geo database. And uh, we're going to choose the India by double clicking on it. So let me click this option. So now it is navigated to our uh, introduction to Python windows in RGIS Pro. In that, this is our geo database. We're going to click this and select this particular uh, file geo database and click OK. So once you did that, we're going to run this tool and click this option called run. 
so we have our indication uh, count features has been completed so now we can view the details and uh, we can able to view here it does not provide us a number of features uh, in this uh, file geodatabase so this is because a python print statement doesn't uh, does not allow does not know about the arcgis pro geoprocessing uh, framework and now to write to that uh, we need to use our art python let me close this so now to uh, write to that so we need to use of uh, artpy dot uh, so artpy dot uh, mess add message instead and now let me get back to our intro dot python intro dot py now let me go to my intro dot uh, py so and here we're gonna i will switch to the first print for uh, artpy dot uh, so we're gonna add a uh, artpy dot uh, add message here So now I have added as an arcpy dot add message, and I won't do the same for the last print statement. Uh, last print statement, our tool is already telling us that it has a uh, that is as uh, it has been completed. So once you did that, go to the file section and save your work. And I will bring our ArcGIS Pro forward to run the tool again using our same parameters. So now let me get back to our ArcGIS Pro. So now we are in RGS section, so we can uh, view the previous result here. So in the message section, uh, we didn't receive any messages using uh, our previous uh, previously done. So now we can run this tool again. So we have uh, input features of our India, and we can run this tool again now. So once the count feature has been completed, we can view the details here. So go to the message section. And now here you can able to view the message here. So here there is India has a one features. So a new message previously we didn't have any message, and now we have a message uh, that is India has a one feature. So now let me close this. And this is to this uh, that was for the feature class in uh, file geo database. And uh, I will uh, check to make sure that it works for the shape files uh, too. And now I will uh, browse to my data source and double click uh, the shape file called populated places. Now let me select the shape file called uh, populated uh, shape files. For that, we're gonna move on to our uh, move on to our folders. In that, we're gonna select our data source from data. We're gonna select this particular shape file called uh, populated places. So we're going to select this particular shapefile called populated uh, places. So now let me get back to our uh, count features. We're going to click our count features, right click and open tool, the count feature tool. So in that we're going to select our shapefile that is populated places. So in the data source, we're going to select our uh, the shapefile called uh, populated places. So once you selected it, we're going to run this tool. We're going to run our count features tool. Click run. So once it's uh, completed, uh, it's, so now we can able to view the details. So in the details, we have a message. So the message section you can able to visualize here in the populated shape file. Uh, populated places dot shape file has seven thousand three hundred and forty three features. So once you've done that uh, in this video, we have uh, shown you how to write a simple Python script tool. So we have a used account features to count the number of uh, features in our geo database as well as in our shapefile. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.